Covering Ware County, Georgia, tonight we're learning more about an incident that took place inside the Ware State Prison. This is near Waycross, it prompted the prison to go into lockdown. According to the Georgia Department of Corrections, two staff members and three inmates were hurt during the incident. News Project reporter Zach Lashaway talked with a former officer of the facility. Georgia Department of Corrections is referring to this incident as a disturbance. We must warn you, the details and images you're about to see are graphic. In video gone viral, you can see injured and bloodied inmates inside a prison dorm in disarray. Well, I brought us a shot. The, quote, disturbance inside Ware State Prison Saturday night into Sunday morning was streamed on social media. Those videos were shot by inmates on contraband cell phones that they get. John Eason says he worked for Georgia Department of Corrections at Ware State Prison for 10 years. Eason says he resigned two weeks ago. We've been breaking policy. We've been very short staffed. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson says this sort of thing can easily happen inside a prison, but officers here handled the situation well. Yeah, that's a pretty good response time for a large facility like that. You know, you've got hundreds of inmates there. You've got to account for all of them. So uh, it's going to take time. You've got to be methodical uh, with that process. You can't rush it uh, because somebody could be hiding somewhere waiting. Uh, for a chance to go through a door, an unsecured door, or or maybe even attack a correctional officer. So they've got to take their time uh, to defuse the situation. And an and, uh, hour and a half time frame to have a lockdown is not a long time at all. According to the department's website, Ware State Prison is a closed facility with 1,546 inmates. The department says they are investigating a disturbance caused by inmates. They released a statement saying in part, quote, two staff members received minor non-life-threatening injuries and three inmates received non-life-threatening injuries. A golf cart was set on fire and several windows were broken but no major damage to the facility was reported, and officers deployed non-lethal ammunition and brought the incident under control. At no time was public safety at risk. I reached out to Georgia Department of Corrections with further questions. In mid-July, an inmate at Ware State Prison was murdered by another inmate. GDC is investigating that incident. And Waycross Police confirmed two news for Jacks. They sent five officers to help secure the perimeter around the prison last night.